everybody, um, it's a month now since I did my last uh, video diary entry and things have been really busy and in fact so busy that I haven't even had time to, to upload that last diary entry um, but we'll try and get uh, everything caught up uh, as soon as we can. Um, it's been in some ways an eventful month, uh, in other ways it's been quite a passive month. So, the last time I, I made a recording was 27th of February 2016 and um, I was talking about my plans for, for the year that I'd be doing uh, the Belfast Marathon, um, the local even half marathon, the, the Great North and uh, a few other events and of course that I was uh, going back to Amsterdam to run rather than complete the Amsterdam Marathon. Um, so that was the 27th of February and I was uh, full of uh, expectation and looking forward to a couple of months of, of uh, hard training to get ready ready for, for Belfast and um, part of which would include a trip to Australia to visit my son and I would get uh, quite a few long runs in while I was out there. Um, unfortunately, the very next day uh, I was running with um, Falkland Trail Runners and it was um, really, really cold and really icy. Um, and we were running in the estate and there, there's a really, really magical place in the estate where you run behind the waterfall. Um, and we stopped there to take a photograph as, as usual. And uh, I was taking the photograph and I was being really, really careful um, watching my feet um, on the ice, but despite that I, I still managed to, to go down with a bit of a thump. Um, so it, it didn't really hurt very much at the, at the time, it was more of my, my pride that was hurt. Um, but by the, the Wednesday of that week I could feel uh, my, my bottom was starting to, to really um, you know, tighten up and uh, still not all that painful, but um, by the end of the week uh, it, it, it was pretty hard and you know, uh, even walking was, was really quite uncomfortable, um, so I had to take a, a bit of time off running. Um, I, I, it still really didn't get better and uh, so after two weeks, uh, so that was uh, two weeks ago just now, I decided I'd better um, go and see the physio. Um, so unfortunately it seems that uh, the, 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 in the fall I had uh, torn um, some muscles, so done a reasonable amount of damage. So the end result is that uh, since then um, I, I've really only done uh, two or three short runs. I, I, I did a 5k um, a fortnight ago uh, and I've done a couple of 8Ks in between times, just trying to keep myself ticking over. Um, at the weekend, um, I, I did an 8K yesterday, so this is Monday the 28th of, of March. Uh, so yesterday the 27th, I did uh, an 8K on the flat, um, which, which uh, went, went reasonably well. And this morning I've been out and done another 8K uh, up Colts Hill, uh, which went pretty well. Um, so I think uh, I'm, I'm not fully recovered, uh, I, I'm still feeling some discomfort, but um, I had two uh, ultrasound uh, sessions, um, getting interference therapy and diathermy, and uh, as usual that's uh, done a, a, an amazing job at uh, you know, get, getting the healing process promoted. So we fly out to Australia um, three days from now on Thursday. Um, and Belfast is uh, five weeks today, on the 2nd of May. So what do I think my prospects are? Um, and that's really the, the purpose in, in making this uh, diary entry. Uh, so I was already a little bit apprehensive about uh, Belfast and thinking I mm, haven't really done as much work over the summer, uh, the winter rather, as, as I had expected. Um, and so... Uh, I thought maybe I, I could still do Belfast in in four and a half hours or, or thereby, uh, rather than uh, my eventual target of a, a sub-four hour marathon. Um, 
Today I'm not really sure that I can even do that and I think, I'm, I'm sure I could finish the marathon but it, it'll be more like Amsterdam where uh, I, I'll be completing it rather than running the marathon. Um, so yeah, we'll still go, we'll still, still give it our best shot but I, I've got no expectations of, uh, of really giving the marathon justice. Um, Okay, so between now and then we've got five weeks, uh, of which two and a half weeks will we'll be in Australia. Um, the temperatures out there are, are pretty okay just now. It's uh, the end of their autumn, um, or sorry, the end of their summer, just heading into their autumn. So when we're there, the temperatures should be in the low 20s, um, but uh, still bright and, and pretty good weather. So it'll be a bit of a jump going up from... Well, today it's uh, 7 degrees I was running in, uh, so that would be about a, a 15 degree jump. And I think you know, 22, 23 degrees isn't hot, but it will still take um, a few days to acclimatise to that, I think. Um, yeah, so we're going to do uh, the best that we can out there. I'm still planning to do um, a couple of long runs at least. I'm going to try and do the Adelaide Marathon route. Um, that might turn into only doing, it's uh, actually two loops of, of a half marathon route. It may turn into just doing the one, um, but, but we'll, we'll see see what we can do. Um, the other main run that I want to do is uh, the Adelaide flood defences are essentially, uh, what they did was, um, they, they, there was a series of uh, valleys um, between the Adelaide Hills and the plain on which the main city lies. Uh, so they rather than uh, put down concrete troughs or pipes, as the Americans do, uh, they, 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 they joined the, the, the valleys together and landscaped it all. So there's a, a nice long trail run uh, that is somewhere about 30 to 40 kilometres, I'm, I'm not sure exactly, but let's say 35 k's. Uh, that goes from the Adelaide Hills uh, right down to, to the beach. So I really, really want to do that one. Um, these are my, my two main objectives when I'm out there. Uh, there is a third one that I want to do. I did it uh, when I was last there four years ago, and it was only um, a few months after I started back running, uh, so really inexperienced and, and not all that fit and still quite overweight at the time and uh, there's a, a mountain, mountain, quite a big hill uh, just outside Adelaide, part of the Adelaide Hills uh, called Mount Lofty and uh, there's a kind of a tourist trail, a big wide path that takes you from uh, down in the valley up to up to the top. Um, so last time I was there I, I walked quite a lot of the way and I guess uh, if I get to do that one again this time, I'll I'll be walking a bit. Not quite as far, I would hope. I would hope I would manage to be able to run uh, to the halfway mark, at least. But the the run back down uh, Mount Lofty is, is absolutely sensational. <laughs> it was such good fun just letting yourself go and, uh, and getting down to the bottom. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll do these. We'll also do... Um, a, a couple of park runs when we're out there and uh, in between times um, probably somewhere about 8-10 eight, eight to 10 k's uh, each day that I'm not doing a long run. So we should manage to get in somewhere about, f I don't know, minimum 40 miles uh, each of the two weeks, uh, hopefully nearer to the 50 miles uh, over, over in each of the, of the weeks. So when we get back um, from, from Adelaide uh, we will still have two weeks left uh, before Belfast and um, hopefully hopefully we'll, we'll manage to get up to an 18 mile run uh, the, the week before. Uh, I, I won't have time to do a taper um, but then there's nothing really to taper from because I won't have actually done all the marathon preparation and training that uh, I would ordinarily have done. It's unfortunate um, we're, we're essentially having the same experience as, as we had uh, with Amsterdam. With Amsterdam it was the burning toes issue that um, between the beginning of July and uh, kind of the middle of September, so that was about 
10 weeks or so that I lost and it was a crucial 10 weeks um, that I lost just that uh, build up from kind of the the 15k to the, the 30k mark this time I've really only got myself to blame um, because I, I was I, did, I, I only entered Belfast because it would give me motivation to get out and run over the winter um, I, and I did start off doing that but it, it really has been a horrendously wet uh, winter and I, you know I've never made any secret about the fact that I don't mind running in the cold and uh, I don't mind running in the rain but cold and rain together uh, holds no real appeal for me so I, I, I just didn't do it you know? um, so it didn't really start until two or three weeks before I had this fall um, so I've only had that two or three weeks uh, during which I did a few uh, runs from Dundee down to St Andrews so that that did start to give me a bit of, of confidence um, but of course I'm nowhere near ready to, to do a marathon anyway um, right round up um, haven't done the work that I should have done for Belfast if I was sensible um, I would uh, pull my entry on Belfast but I've never been a sensible person um, so we'll give it the best that we can uh, hopefully the, the torn muscles are well on their way to, to, to being healed hopefully the, another couple of weeks and uh, I, I won't be having any problems with that uh, we'll use these couple of weeks um, to, to get some heat into it when, when we're down in Australia uh, hopefully manage to get some really good uh, long runs in then when we come back I'll have uh, a couple of weeks still to go um, where I can hit that 18-20 uh, mile mark if I can do that then um, I'll be ready to go at Belfast as it is just now I think it's going to be a, a rerun of Amsterdam I'll be able to run a bit more than half the marathon distance and uh, the rest of it I'll, I'll be jog walking um, will I still be able to do it in four and a half hours? probably not I think um, realistically it's going to be Another five-hour marathon, another case of completing it rather than, uh, you know, actually running the whole way. Once that's done, though, um, we've got uh, the whole of the summer to prepare for Amsterdam. So I'm still hopeful, still fully, um, you know, of the expectation that I'll do Amsterdam in under four hours. I have to, my goodness, I have to do one in under four hours. You know, I'm, I'm not getting any younger and uh, every year that goes by, once I think you get to the 60 mark, um, you know, you, it, it's not like the difference between 40 and 41 and 42, or even 50, 51 and 52, you know, 60, 61, 62, and more so 70, 71, 72. Um, you know, that, the, the regression, I think, uh, definitely is uh, a, bit, a bit more um, significant. So, um, I, if I'm going to do a four-hour marathon, I think it has to be this year, and uh, it has to be Amsterdam. Good. So, there we are. Um, I'll catch up uh, on where we are, and hopefully I'll, I'll uh, get round to posting this one before another month has gone by. Um, so, we'll uh, have, uh, hopefully, some copious reports from, from uh, Adelaide. Um, I think the, the runs out there are going to be really pretty good, pretty cool and uh, certainly a, a total change of scene from, from over here in Scotland. The, the nature of the trails is going to be different than the nature of the um, running in the city. I, I just I, A thing that I've never done is run in the city. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing that again and uh, as I say it's been four years but uh, yeah it's going to be good. So we'll uh, definitely keep you up to date with uh, how things are going and we'll try and do a, a video blog uh, maybe every couple of days. Okay, so thanks for sticking with me guys and uh, hope this update's been interesting. Um, I know you'll be going, oh, Malky, no. <laughs> why, 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 why is it that things keep going wrong? Uh, yeah, that's what I keep asking myself. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get there eventually. Okay, so uh, see, see you soon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to make sure you get notifications of all new content.